Okay, my dear friends. Now once we have understood what exactly chemical thermodynamics is all about, so now we begin with the different concepts of this chapter. So to begin with, we are going to start with the basic terms. Now in the basic terms, you must be knowing it very well, that the largest form is being called as universe. What it is called as? Universe. So let us now assume that this is a universe. Let us assume, obviously, it cannot be so small. So this is a universe. Okay, jo kuch bhi chizhe samai uvi hai, wasab universe ke andar hai. Universe ke bahar koi nahi hai. Aisa hum maante hai is particular chapter mein. Hai baat samaj mein? Alright. Now what I do is, ke I mark a particular area like this. Aisa. Okay, ye itna area mein mark kar deta. Ye red wala dikh raha hai apna ko? Universe ka hi hissa hai wo. Alright? But then, this is what I have marked. So it is something which is specified. I marked it, so that's why it is something which is specified. Now I am going to consider this with respect to the thermodynamic point of view. Now, after the one we saw, thermodynamic point of view means what? I will explain it. There are four primary properties which are related to thermodynamics. You must have heard about this. I am very sure about it. The first one is temperature. The second one is pressure. The third one is volume. And the fourth one is composition. Or I call it as concentration. T, P, V, C. So these are the four primary properties which are related to thermodynamics. Now I give two names to these properties. Why? I give you the reason also. Okay? The first name is I call these as variable properties. What I call it as variable properties. Now why? Variable, this term is very clear to all of you. Why do we call it as variable is? Because the one which is going to change with time. Okay, temperature value. I give you a very simple example so that everybody can relate with it. Subhaj panch bache cho temperature hoga kya dupar ko bara bache bhi hoi temperature hoga? Kya shaam ko chhe bache bhi hoi temperature hoga? Kya raat ko bara bache bhi kya hoi temperature hoga? Nahin. Vat ke saath woh badal jata hai. To that's why we call it as variable property. Alright? So it's the same thing is with pressure, volume, concentration, etc. Okay? These properties have values and these values can change with time. Okay? And that's why the name is variable. The next point is, okay, and that is, yeah, I give you two simple examples, okay, two cases. First case is, I give you a room, and I tell you that in this particular room, please record the temperature at intervals of one hour, and tell me, what is the change taking place? And I give you the same assignment, but this time not with a room, with a minute particle of a chalk. My dear friends, pura chalk kam nahi, uska ek chota sa kan. पार्टिकल का मतलब होता है कण वो देता हूं मैं आपको और आपको बोलता हूं कि इस छोटे से चौक के कण में टेंपरेचर में क्या बदलाव हो रहा है हर घंटे में वो मुझे बताइए सो दीस आर द टू केसेस नाउ इफ आई आस्क यू वेयर द आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी एक्यूरेट यस आई एम वेरी श्योर यू आर ऑल गोइंग टू टेल मी दिस आई कैन हियर आल्सो द आंसर्स फ्रॉम यू दैट यू ऑल विल से दैट सर from the room द व्हाटएवर ऑब्जर्वेशंस व्हिच आर देयर आर मच मोर एक्यूरेट एज कंपेयर टू अ स्मॉल पार्टिकल It's not that in a small particle there are no changes in temperature. There are, but because it is so small, it is very difficult to accurately note it down. But here in room it is big, so accurate observation is possible. I specify on this word accurate, and that's why that big part, the large part, comes into the picture. And because it comes into the picture, the next word for this is macroscopic. What we call it as macroscopic. Macro means you know it is something which is large. So these are the two names given to these properties. Which are those? First one is variable because these properties are characterized by their values which can change with time. And the next one is macroscopic because their values accurately depends upon the large amount of the substance. Concept is clear? Very good. So this is the primary thermodynamic properties. So coming back over here, this is what? Can you remember? For God, I tell you, it's universe. Now I mark this area. 
Now, because I have marked that area, that means it is a general portion or a specified portion. Yes, you guessed it right. It is a specified portion of our universe. But it is under thermodynamic consideration. That is, it is with respect to these properties. And I call this as a system. What I call it as system. So what is system now, my dear friends? It's nothing but it is the specified portion of the universe which is under thermodynamic consideration. What is it? It is with respect to what? Thermodynamic consideration. And thermodynamic consideration means what? These four properties. That is T, P, V as well as C. You getting it everyone? Okay, this is what system is all about. Now come back over here my dear friends. This entire universe, small portion of which is a system. What about this one now? This is also the area. This is also part of the universe. It's not a part of the system. It's the remaining portion of the universe. And this, I call it as what? Surrounding. What I call it as? Surrounding. Okay, so how I need to define surrounding as? Yes, I will add also for you. Okay, and that is, it is the remaining portion. Obviously, of what? Universe. Now, is it going to include system? Kya is the system ko shamil kiya hai? Ji nahi. Or jab shamil nahi kiya jata hai, okay? Or se amlo kya bolte angreji mein excluding. What do we call it as? Excluding. So it is excluding the system. Okay, getting right? So surrounding is the remaining portion of the universe, excluding the system. Okay, that is surrounding. So now if I ask you a question, system or surrounding dono ko mila diya jai to kya milega? Very good, Behetrin answer Aploka. You are very smart audience. Okay, I can hear that you are saying what? Universe. Yes, we got it. So as a result of which what we say now is system plus surrounding is equal to universe. Okay, this is what we get. System plus surrounding is what? Universe. Absolutely clear? Very good. Now next thing is, if you can see this red line, okay, agar ye lal line nahi hota to hum differentiate nahi kar paate between system and surrounding. We cannot differentiate. So this red line is very important. It is responsible for differentiating a system from the surrounding. And that is called as a boundary. Kya bala jata hai? Boundary. Chauka, chakka lagane ka hai yaha par. So this is boundary. Now this boundary is basically a line but the characteristic of this line is it can be either real or it can be imaginary. It can be any one of which. I give an example so that it becomes very clear to you. A student is sitting in a classroom, the lecture is going on, the teacher is there. So he's supposed to focus on what the teacher is teaching. So for him it's going to be the system, it's nothing but the classroom. Because as I said, system is something which is what? Specified. You did not specify surrounding. Once you have defined the system, automatically the surrounding gets defined. Whatever else remaining is nothing but what? Surrounding. So I need to define the system. So for the particular student sitting in the classroom, the lecture is going on. For that particular student, the system is a classroom. Outside the classroom, whatever it is, is the surrounding. So that means the classroom has walls, it has got windows, so which are real and that are nothing but boundary. It's the walls, it's the windows which are separating the class from the rest of the other classrooms and everything else. Alright, so that becomes what? Boundary, which are something real. That's one example. Now you will say, alright, fine, samaj mein aagya. Ye imaginary kaise hota? Ye real matla vastavik, imaginary matla kalpanik. Ye boundary ki baat kar rahe, aur wo kalpanik kaise ho sakta hai? Mein aapko iska bhi udharan de deta. And that is, in a laboratory, if you just go, okay, and you are being assigned a practical, the teacher says that, I am giving you a liquid, 
take 100 ml of this liquid in a beaker, okay, and insert a uh, thermometer and start heating it and report me the boiling point. All right, so everybody will go uh, to their respective table and start performing this experiment. All right, now it takes a uh, particular beer liquid in a beaker and it introduces the thermometer and starts heating. Is it going to be like that and as soon as the burner is on, immediately the liquid is going to start boiling? No, it will take some time. And the student is not aware about what is going to be the boiling point. So obviously what is the idea student need to do? That student has to focus completely on that particular beaker. Okay, and see at what particular temperature the liquid is start boiling. So for that particular student, the system is nothing but the beaker, the liquid and the thermometer. Rest everything is the surrounding. So he has to keep everything, all these things there in the mind. Okay, that he has to focus only and only over here, nowhere else. So here he has created a boundary, but in the mind. And that's why that is what? Imaginary. Okay, he has not created walls around himself. He didn't say to the teacher, hey, Teacher, I have done this, 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 I तो समझ में आया ये दिमाग में इसने बाउंड्री बना के रखा है कि मुझे सिर्फ और सिर्फ इधर देखना है और कहीं पर भी नहीं देखना है एंड दिस केस रेफर्स टू व्हाट इमेजिनरी एम आई वेरी क्लियर विद दिस पार्ट यस सो दिस इज व्हाट द बेसिक्स ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक्स इज ओके व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द लार्जेस्ट एरिया ओके एवर पॉसिबल इज नथिंग बट व्हाट सलाम यूनिवर्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर ओके एक्स्ट्रा यूनिवर्सल पार्टिकल्स it's a topic of research, but we're not going to consider in this particular chapter. So that is the universe. Now out of that, the smallest portion if I take, which I'm going to specify, and I'm going to consider it with respect to thermodynamic parameters, then I call it as a system. Now I call it as a system. When I say thermodynamic parameters, what are temperature, pressure, volume, concentration? Do you have to study these four properties? No. एक पर्टिकुलर हिस्से को अगर मैंने टेम्परेचर के नजरिए से भी पढ़ा तो भी वो सिस्टम बन गया तो भी वो थर्मोडायनामिक पैरामीटर बन गया इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी दैट आई नीड टू लर्न ऑल द फोर प्रॉपर्टीज एनी वन ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी इज सफिशियंट सो आई डिफाइन सिस्टम एज अ स्पेसिफाइड पोर्शन ऑफ द यूनिवर्स व्हिच इज अंडर थर्मोडायनामिक कंसीडरेशन द रिमेनिंग पोर्शन व्हिच इज देयर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स एक्सक्लूडिंग द सिस्टम इज कॉल्ड एज व्हाट सराउंडिंग and therefore what we say system and surrounding together comes out to be what universe our most important formula and then this red line is the one which is responsible to differentiate between the system and the surrounding so it's a line which can be either real or it can be imaginary i give you examples of all and those are called as what boundary so this is what we have in the basic part of this particular terms of thermodynamics we have system we have surrounding and we have boundary so now my dear friends आपको ये एहसास हो गया रहेगा कि क्योंकि ये चैप्टर का शीर्षक है टाइटल है थर्मोडायनामिक्स और थर्मोडायनामिक कंसिडरेशन हम देते हैं सिस्टम को एंड देर फोर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन वॉर सिस्टम आई गेटिंग एन एवरी वन यस